sit down. I'm better at talking to people of my own social status. I'm hoping this is streaming. Oh, good we are. So, we're gonna just keep moving along in the story. Just like that. Well, I heard about him. He's a right skin plate. And what did Betty have I'm gonna interrupt you guys because I need to talk. God be with you. Hey, artisan man. Oh man. What kind of governor is Sir Hanish? He's strict but just. Thank God for him. He don't get mixed up in nothing like that Saratic, so you don't see no one attacking us. What's life like in Ratai? Good. Or it was till them refugees came. Those so refugees needing to live and be treated like humans? How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? Huh. Don't even talk to me about it. I wish that rebel was gone. Oh. I know they've met with misfortune. But here, they do nothing but thieve and make problems. But uh, while I was off camera just for like a couple of minutes, just getting everything set up, I did talk to a dude. Terrible oh things. my, something Horrible. is just in I it. hear they scare ah! people alive, and what they do to the women folk. Better take your Hold own on. life than fall into their hands. Beasts they are, animals. Ugh. Sorry about that, but while on the screen I was just kind of talking to people, because it turns out, to level up your speech, you just need to talk to people, you don't even have to Take pass speech checks. God so I was talking to a dude and he gave me a mission, so I have an optional mission to uh, steal some cash from a crooked guard, possibly. But uh, we're going to keep doing the main story, because that's what I was told to do, up until a point we get to a mission called, I believe, a Ginger in a Pickle. That be the smith's son, Hal. On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. Hi, Textures. Bandits attacked me in Scalitz. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and bandits did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. I didn't even manage that. I failed to save him or put him to rest. And just what could you have done at Scalitz? If you tried to fight, the both of you would be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use of it. You're right. And just what are you doing here? Another thing I did is I did bump up the graphics a bit so things should look nicer and stuff shouldn't pop in so close. But it's already looking like textures are having a little trouble loading in, so this might be a game with some graphical hiccups. So I'm gonna speak with Sarat. I think I'll be fine is with he it. Here? But He's in the palace with Sahanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knights hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He um, he asked me to deliver it to Saratik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. So. Hopefully I won't get stuck on any stairs. Oh, that was some loading. In here. It's a lockpick lock. That's a toilet. Hey, bud. Here? Nope. I guess I gotta keep going up. Yes. Hey, guard. I might put the graphics back to medium. Compute this. I know this game isn't the best optimized, it still has some issues, but as long as the game doesn't crash and people's legs don't just fly off into space, graces, I'll be fine with it. I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pitstein is yours for as long as you need it. As 
room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honoured. Pechstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, well, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? Probably crazy shit. I won't shit. lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realize just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> What concerns me, I think sir, Red Six can end up being a good, good guy. Could I hope he doesn't die by the end. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights. So he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, whore sons outside of the Witcher games is funny. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Hi. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Townburg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others, listen to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Ratzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without a robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still. It's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. Get slammed. You're so concerned, Father. Maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven. As long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. Damn. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him, and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valor. Alright, I think Red Six is a good guy. He's like, you're being so stupid, Henry. The woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? I know, fool. Henry, you have courage, but you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? Oh, can I do that? 
Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything? Hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. Oh, get fucked. Recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? So, I... yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. All right, so. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. That's true. The bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> captain Bernard? See to his training? Oh, wait, you're then Captain Bernard? To the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. Oh, boy. Rely on it, sir. I'm Don't forget, my Henry. Punched. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. Ugh. I don't plan to do that. Alright, so. Train hard, fight easy. Where am I going? Go to the training ground and talk to Captain Bernard. Is that, is that A? Yep. Alright. Time to learn how to fight like a big boy. Hey Townsman, what's up? Good health to you. Actually, I don't have time to talk to anyone. This is probably a mission with a time limit. He'll get mad if I don't show up. I don't like that it's getting so dark. I'm gonna run. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I'm almost done being a big fat boy. I don't really hear my footsteps at all. I guess because I'm on dirt. Gentle flute music. What is the star icon? Excuse me, bud. Told that also vault over fences whenever you can. The cobbler. Mm, can get cool shoes. Steven. The tavern. Talk to all these guys after I learn how to do fighting. Some post dinner beat em ups. What are the crosses? Are really stone craved? Oh, okay, it's just saying where the end of an area is. 
Maybe that's used for like, oh, the guards are chasing me. Captain Bernard's not here. I should stop by during the day. Oh, okay. Shit, where do I live? Quest tipster? Yeah, fuck, where do I live? Weaponsmith. Armorer. Grindstone. Camp. Okay. Uh, how much money do I have? I have four groschen. Hey, Steven. Or it's a baker. Jesus Christ be praised. How's life in Rattai? How does life in Rattai suit you? Them Rattai folk would rather drive us out of here. I mean, they won't give us no work, and they won't let us beg. So what are we supposed to do? Fucking war. Did you find out what actually happened? They say Sigismund is at war with the Czech lords and abducted the king. And our lord sides with Wenceslas. Crazy. Farewell. Now let's check out the tavern. And what is it, quest tipster? Looks like dice. Slock pick. Good health to you, sir. Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Aye, oh, it could be something for you. Berthold, our local gamekeeper, was looking for help with something a while back. Why don't you ask him if he still needs help? Good luck to you. Uh, I think I need to pull out a torch soon. Hey, where's your torch? Can't walk around him in the... There's my torch. So yeah, I remember seeing one of the reviews that you can get arrested for not having a torch. Do you know yet. if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Hmm. No one I can think of. I hope the torches are like infinite. What kind of governor is Sahanish? Young Sahans is our governor, but Sahanish is his guardian until he comes of age. That's not a day I'm looking forward to. Everyone says about the same stuff. Farewell. I need to find a bed. Is the tavern rent out rooms? Is the tavern closed? Is yeah. this the tavern? Also locked. Looks like a church. Archery range. Where am I supposed to go during the night? Do I sleep in camp? It's eerily quiet, but I guess that makes sense. There's really no one out here to be making noise. Jesus Christ! Your clothes! Are they already Are you dirty? Assaulted? Damn bandits! May they burn in hell! May the Lord watch So wait, am I dirty? I'm not dirty. Oh, just because I must be wearing peasanty clothes. So I was like, where do I sleep? Wait. I'll be with you, good sir. Uh, do you have any rooms? Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Hmm. I don't know. Alright. Very well. Uh. Do you have any rooms? You're right there. 
Anyway, I showed a couple of pieces she made last time to old Tonga from... Uh, shit. Oh, I have two areas I haven't found here. I feel like I explore those during the daytime. Is that another quest giver? Tomorrow, I think. Where do I go? <laughs> to sleep. Guess I can check the camp. So the place I can think of. Levels up. I think vitality is upped by sprinting. I'm getting desperate. Why is that? You know. Hey, blacksmith's apprentice. You have Good day to you. What do you need? What's life like in Ratai? Life is good here. Even better if then damn refugees would only vanish. Okay. Good luck to you. Oh, I see. That's it. Nope, this isn't the right way. Look, it's all. I'm even going the right way. Nope. I didn't need to keep going in this road. He had it in Prague, and he said it was delicious. Can I sleep anywhere in here? I can. Comfy bit. Hey, young fellow, you can't sleep here. Go oh. find a bed of your own. Out. Oh, okay. Shit. What do you think this is? No, put on the thing. Sorry. Uh, okay, so it won't do like the Skyrim thing of, or any Elder Scrolls thing. If this is an own bed, you can't sleep here. What about here? Or here? There. Damn it! What? What are you doing sleeping here? That's not your bed. Get out. Damn it. <sighs> Sleep and save. Oh, is this my bed? Okay. Sleep for a good eight hours. All right. There we go. All energyed up. Is there anything in this trunk? Pick it because people will get mad. But I will do some food. There we 
we go. All good as rain. Let's go learn to fight. Do I become more comfortable if I take off all my clothes? I'll have to check that out next time. I wonder if more comfort means you don't have to sleep as much. I'll have to look that up too. I noticed everyone else there was like naked. Or as naked as you can get in this game. Gentle sir. see how putting block on the mouse is better or not. Yeah, I want the music a little louder. Hmm. This game is very Pater Noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen. A little inconsistent with like, man, the music here is really quiet, but then during other parts it'll just be like Inception Boise. All right, Bernard, let's do this. Yeah, does this cross do anything? Carol Bishop, these are probably another crowdfunding thing. Those are probably people who paid more money. Where are you at? It's the day. Am I too early? Hello, other viewer. There we go. Jesus Christ be praised. Can I ask? Let's learn some stuff. What kind of a lord is Sir Hanush? I can't complain. He knows how to keep order, but he does it with good humor. What do you think of Sir Radzig? I hear he's on good terms with the king, probably why Sir Hanush opened the door to him. Sir Radzik seems like a fair man, and folks say he's a good governor. What's young Lord Capon like? He'll be the governor here in a few years. Sir Hanush hey, is his guardian until he comes to say Kyle, I don't know what Young Lord that. spends I, most of his time making merry, but he'll grow out of it. He's no fool. What's life like in Ratai? Sigismund came and I didn't tell you to say that, but that's fine. Life here. That was weird. What will become of the Scalitz refugees? And I'd like to know the answer to that myself. I hope things can settle down quick and you lot can clear off. Bernard, you know you're going to love me. Perkstein is a fine castle. It'll be even finer once you all clear out and I can move back into my chambers. Do you know who those soldiers of Sigismunds are, Captain? They call them Cumans or Kipchaks. Kipchaks. The Lord says they fled from the Mongols to Hungary and settled there. They're herdsmen and excellent horsemen. And barbarians, too. For all that they claim they've turned to Christ. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy Sir Radzik said. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it, then. Since that's what Sir Radzig wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. Very well. Come with me and listen closely. I don't want to be repeating myself. Lord one. Yeah, we'll just start from the beginning again, maybe. I'm not if I don't act cocky, he'll like me more. Oh, let's see what you're made of. Hold it properly. Keep moving. Never stand still when your life depends on it. Right, good. 
Good. Now try attacking. You've got to put your back into a good slash. I think I want to change and have lock on be the middle mouse. Now can I have I guess not. Let's swap those. So I'm going to be locking on more than I'm going to be unlocking. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. Ah, that's it! Nice! All right! Good! Good! There we go. That pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. Well done. Oh, my agility went up. Nice. Well done. That will do. Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, let's try something more complicated. One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. All right. Good. Haha. -ha. I missed. What is it? Some visitation by the Holy Spirit? I'm getting gassed. What is it? Sudden visitation by the Holy Spirit? Let's go! What? Right. this quest bugged what is it sudden visitation by the holy spirit shit what's going on nice okay. now let's see how you do with defense it's not hard to block a basic strike just watch out Move your sword into the path of the blow. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Yes, this is much better with the mouse. Good. Just using the side click. Very well then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Good strike. What the fuck? Ow. Ah, it's cheating. Oh god, what? He's beating me up. But with every swing, I become stronger. Ah, oh, just punched me. Fine. That's enough. My work cut out. Oh, okay. I was like, why can't I hit him anymore? That's life. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Not like 
Very good. Ah, that's it. Good. Nice. Good. Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. It's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. Ow. 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 All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. No, not like that. You mustn't hold a sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. Very good. Very good. Okay, I'm getting it. Ah, that's it. Ow. Very good. Uh -huh. Ow. Right, now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. It? Come on, homie, hit me again. Ah, Boom. Nice. Ah, that's it. All right, I have to do this kind of a bunch, but that's fine. Ah, the power of sword. Nice. I'm the best at Not sticks. Bad. Good, good. Put your now arms down, you look ridiculous. Speed. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train! Let's go! Ow. Ow. Joke's on you, I'm a Dark Souls parry lord. Ow. Oh. Ow. Spoke, spoke too soon. Wait a while, Henry. Woo! I did it. The king of not getting hit. Hey, it's, it's Hans Kekap Pepperdin. Good greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it? Oh, why you gotta be a dick? Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith's boy. Try not oh, I can't wait to become best friends with you! Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to obey the strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll yeah, show you. Yeah, you block? I mean, guard, I mean. Oh, shit, I have my head set up. Sword time. Mm -hmm. I don't have all day, boy. I'm doing my best. All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. And the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. It'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. What? Oh! Well oh. done! There's not a jump action, okay. Ow. Ow. Not like that! Good! Well, fine. I'll okay, try it a cool. little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. 
Aha. Well done. Whoa. -ho -ho. Oh like man, I'm excited to really try the system against someone who's trying to murder me. Ah, that's it. And the last thing for today, a trick. I you like raise tricks. the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. What? Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. Parry the strike by holding. Gah! That's neat. Good. Very good. Oops. Wrong, damn it. Wrong, damn it. Good. Very good. No, that's not it. Good. Well, now. That wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. Yes, I'm becoming Don't the sexiest hot. sword boy. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent. Talent alone won't do. Practice. Whenever you've got nothing better to do and you're in the mood for it, you can come and train here with me. Uh -oh. I can teach you something more when you're up to it. Sounds like CJ has off-camera work to do. also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. Okay. I've heard archery is also kind of a finicky little bird, so we'll see how this goes. But all these sweet skill ups that I just got. Oh, combat, that's what I need. I don't have any skills for these, do I? Four levels. Is it the four levels for all of these? Three. Oh. Right. Yeah, well, we'll get some later. Captain Bernard. Cap Captain Bernard, I like your helmet. I have one like it. We could be helmet brothers. You're walking a little too fast. Come on. You work you walk the exact wrong speed. Come on, bud. Better go fast. Now what did that do to my clothes? Am I dirty yet? I'm not dirty yet. Ah, oh, you have different outfits. Come on, Beanard. I do wish there was an auto walk function. Excuse me, chickens. I wish I had the confident stride of Bernard. See what kind of a mess this is. Oh no, Hans is gonna make fun of me because I'm gonna be bad at this. He's gonna be like, blacksmith boy, fingers too full of dirt and shit to shoot arrows. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing, put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Ooh. Save the thanks. Get in position. Now concentrate. A bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. You wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment. And then release the string. 
No jerky movements. Just let the string slide out of your fingers. Maybe as if you were about something. to draw it back more. It's all one movement. The arrow aiming at the target and flying at it. Shoot away. Shit. What you have there Shoot. is a training oh, bow. The arrow drops off. quickly. What Once you, you train a bit, you can get yourself a better door. one. And then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. That flew nicely. Practice for a while, and no nonsense. Okay, I'm figuring it out. It's always oh, it's uh, it's to the left. Well, that was awful. I didn't imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. I don't know why you're wasting your time. I got the two bullseyes. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. Oh, sh- What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. The brother who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well? Any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, You'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I don't have enough. Then you'll owe me or work it off. Let's get to it. Shit. I'm gonna get annihilated. I think I won! Well, I didn't expect that. <laughs> Wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt. What uh. are you grinning about, boy? I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? If you like. Holy shit, I beat him on my first try. Is this necessary? Sir Hanish has already had I'm going to kill you! Subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. All right, let's sword fight hands caping. This is pretty neat. Ow! This feels cool! Get that, bitch! Oof! 
he got me with some good ones. beating me. <laughs> Damn it. Every time he rushes in like that. your fingers. Come on, swing at me, bitch. Oh, he got me. Like two big idiots. Curse it. You know how this one is. What are you going to do about it now, Hans Chapin? Get nimble poked. Oh, -ho! one again. What's it like to be a little bitch? You got the better of me this time, blacksmith. I must be having an off day. Are you alright, sir? Don't worry your mangy head about me, peasant. We'll see each other again soon enough. You can keep my bow. It's best years are behind it anyway. Nice. I got a cool bow. Bernard, did you see? Are you proud of me? Fight, daddy?
Oh, but I'm dirty now. I need to take a shower bath. Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. He shouldn't have challenged me. Careful. You might be under Sir Adzik's protection. Would you be wise to stay on good terms with the other noblemen, too? Now, go to the Rad House. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. I don't think I have any arrows. Uh, we'll put on my helmet. First, we'll put on this thing. Then we'll put on the helmet. Time to get to work. Pick some, some poppies. Wait, why didn't I put the helmet on? There we go. Dandelions. Oh, I should probably get going. I need to stop just picking flowers. Awesome, never mind. Flowers are the best. Are this, is this nettle? I think this is nettle. I was tricked. Alright, so did I get any cool levels and stuff? I have a point in swords. Alright. What can I do with swords? Blunt strike. What are, are these just combos? These are just combos. Stab slash slash. Eh, nothing I really want right now. But I think I want mule if I remember correctly. Care 15 more pounds, yep. Fo show want that and penalties on stats following release or terms. Oh, I don't plan to go to jail. I think I'm just gonna fall, wait until I can get first aid two. Yeah. No. Do I have any other skills? Just strength. Sword. Okay, nothing here yet. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, I like that combat system. That felt really cool. I'm really scared for when like eight people try to beat me up at the same time, but... Do I have any heroes? Okay, so the arrow is now on. Yes, okay. Wish I had a sword. Hello, everyone. Do I look like an adult to everyone yet? So, I'll probably be playing this game on a uh, on Sunday. Give me one second. So, that'll probably be the free day thing I do because oh man, I love this. Hey, is that my home dog, Baron? God be with you. Hey, bud. Nope. Did I already God talk to you? you? Alright. Your wife seems nice. Is there a washing up bucket? Yay. Now I'm less dirty, right? Oh, why do I only have six charisma? He broke my thing. Well, I guess I'll wear the green shirt. Or do I have... Oh, I sold that pad. I dropped that padded shirt like an idiot. Alright. Well, I guess I'll need to find an armor. He'll fix it. Oh, I don't have any money. So poor. But I got that cool hunting bow though. I'm glad that worked out. I was so afraid I was gonna get butt smashed and then have to do like oh. You know what? I'm gonna save. 
I got nine of these savior schnapses. What is, what's this gonna do? It doesn't give me anything. It gives me a little bit of alcohol. But I wanna save. I don't think the game saved. All right, there we go. I'm a little bit buzzed. That's right, I just need to start drinking. The armor right here, I think. Nope, that's the alchemist. Armor is over there. Oh well. Where am I going? Shit, where's the bailiff? he up? Oh, yes he is. Bailiff for promoting for duty. Do I get a sword? Hey, Bailiff. Bailiff. <laughs> Good day to you. I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe, Anujitz. He could teach you. That's what I, that's the next thing I'm going to do after training. What's life like in Ratai? This is a manorial town, and our lord hasn't got himself tangled up in affairs of state, so it's peaceful here. That's nice. How do the Ratai folk get on with the refugees? I know they got nowhere to go. Scalitz is a pile of ashes, and the countryside ain't safe, but they've been here too long. Some of those buggers got light fingers, and not a one of them appreciates the sacrifices we made for them. Fair enough. Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? Everywhere they go, they pillage. Cool, I can just skip dialogue with XP. Master Bader, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. Good enough. I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed? Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We've a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. You can count on me, Bailiff. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? I have, and I have the bruises to prove it. The captain doesn't hold back. The harder the training, the easier the battle. Truth. Well, I anyway, guess, you're know. going to assist my fight. town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, bailiff. Nice. All right. 70 groschen. I'm rich. Time to start crime. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna cry. Well. Uh, so what do we got? B is patrol between 11 and 9. Pick up your kit in the lower room of the armory. Let's do that first. And then we can go do some patrols. Oh man, I hope I get, I get a sword. I want a sword really bad. Using this axe is lame. And now that I have this 70 Grigabritty Groshen. Groshen. That sounds like fake money.
Hey, that's my dude that I whipped the shit out of. Is this the armor man? Oh, it's the cobbler. Wash myself, get nice and pretty for all the ladies that I have to stop from committing crime. Why is it saving? Oh, okay. Excuse me, chickens. Excuse me, buds. Ah. Hey, guy. Did someone... I was told to pick up a kit here. Name? Henry. And in fealty too? Sir Radzik Kobola. Mm. Yes, I've got you. Well, come on in, then. Make yourself at home, Henry. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all. You want a kiss and a hug as well? I guess I'm a club I mean boy. A quick name. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're I guess because the club won't outside. kill people, it'll just knock them out. And a bludgeon. Okay. So, let's see. Okay, so I have two helmets. Ugh. So that will give me more armor, but will make me more whatever, that's fine. And then this bludgeon is way better. Cool. What time is it? It is... Almost 11, so I can almost get to work. Just like in real life. Starting work at 11. I'm becoming Henry of Scallets. Hey, Hans Capen. You in here being a little, little turd burglar? I know you're gonna be my best friend soon. It's gonna be best because the DLC already told me we're best friends. Wait. Oh, I can't talk to you. Is it because you're embarrassed that I stopped you? I'd be embarrassed too. Alright, where is the armorer? Blacksmith, would he be the one to fix it? Yeah, I'll go see the blacksmith. Yep. Go up this way. The huntsman. Okay, so yeah, he'll give me training on stuff. The church. Hi, blacksmith. Got it with you. Uh, no, oh, so you can't repair those. Is it the armor then? What kind of governor is Sahanish? Sahanish is a good lord. Things won't be the same when that witch or sounds takes over. That will be a sorry day. Or is there a clother or whatever? Or the cobbler? Yeah, who would fix my cool warhorse gambeson? New DLC quest. Guess I'm over here, I'll check the cobbler. And then the armorer. Could be the tailor. That'd probably be the most sense. Yeah, we'll go check the tailor. Now I just need a shield. Pretzel stand. The grocer. 
Wait, what is that? Oh, it's a wait now. I don't know what that is. Oops, excuse me, bud. Need to find the tailor. Trader. Taylor. There we go. God be with you. Can you fix my clothes? Farewell. Haha. -ha. What? Does it really only cost that much? Wow, okay. Six point five. Let's try some haggle tea, baggle tea. Let's have a word about the price. Sure, why not? Okay, so. I bring you down to six. Are we agreed? That's not enough. Fair enough. I, for that amount, I can be persuaded. I win. <laughs> All right. Cool, cool. Which means I can put back on my gambeson. And then I'm sure the tailor does boots. All right. Let's go do some patrols. Stop medieval crimes. All the medieval times. Are you my dude? Hey, Nightingale. Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? I see you're kitted out. Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? I am. Teresa. Yes, she I am the me. wench boy. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honor to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I am... Um, I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? Courtship. I don't want to be kicking around in the dirt while other men do honest work. You're an eager one, aren't you? Yes, I Come am a good me, boy. Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. I think this Let's is the go. part where the plague guy comes around and coughs on everyone. This is our church, St. Matthew's. But, oh man. Medieval times. Have I ever been to one of the... No, I have not. So we it went to... not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the lords of Lipa, our masters. A nest. We went to a, a Dixie the Lane stampede, right which is the corner. like... The priest, too. Uh, our parish priest. Ah, like medieval times, but lame. Servants of the Lord. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there, and our maestro proto notarius, the scribe. And the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He oh, lives man. by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. Being a this medieval pillory executioner was brand new sucks, in autumn, I bet. And two people have already been rotting on it. The swordsmith is here. Can I have a sword?
What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. Go to the church. Go back to your people. I don't want you here. Is that... Armorsmith, stop being racist. What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. <laughs> about time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. Oh, what an asshole. I want you to get rid of her. What's the problem here? This is my shop, and I won't have beggars sitting on my doorstep. Let her go and squat in a square. She won't be in anyone's way there, and there's plenty of folk to beg from. Must you sit here, of all places? Yes, I do. Why? Oh, texture on my helmet disappeared. Folk drive me away wherever I sit. I can't keep walking all day and night. Can't you show us some Christian charity, Armourer? What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday? Is that true? Might be. Might not. Did you get any alms or not? Yes. From the Armourer here? I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday, and my belly's empty again today. That's true. What would you know about it? We're both good Christians, aren't we? We should each give something to the poor soul. And what then? Then Jane will be on her way. Immediately. King Solomon now, are you, lad? Did it. Fine. Fine. Have Power it. of words! God bless you, and... And you too, citizen. I won't be a nuisance no more, really. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus. You're as bad as each other. How much should I give away? Are you proud of me, police dad? Your old neighbors are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Sir Hanush. If the town burghers got their way, your folk wouldn't be led anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Sir Hanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sir Hans Capon. Sir Hans's father, old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Oh, yeah. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow. The same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. Alright. Hey, bud. Hope the stream is looking all right. I'll have to check in a second. But oh my God! Stop running away from me with your fast old man legs. Now I get to know what it's like to be a guard in a video game. No this square with here, you. it looks Except much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. Can I have some of your arrows? I only have one. And it's it's embarrassing. We've also got the baker's shop here, and that mad merchant Wolfram Pruder. Pruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. Oh. So I'll check that out at some point and be like, let your girls run free and kiss all the boys she wants. There's one alehouse here on the market square, the Trader's Tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. <sighs> to get shit-faced? Together? Police dad? I've, w I've wanted this my whole life. Is 
Is there any nettle on the floor? Nettle! Hold on, I have to take this. Let's move along to the inner bailey. Wait a minute. I just re okay, I am wearing the gloves and the rotor braces. Here's the forge. The blacksmith has some trouble and he's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice too. You lot could help him need it, couldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. The... What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Scullis. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. He That's died at thirty-nine. How you feel? He was practically a great grandfather. Oh, is this where I get to fight hands for being a dick? Hey, playing dice. I should try that. Well, we went for a walk. Oh, we're still going. Okay. I've got to hit anyone with my cool club yet. The Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sasau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Kohelnitz. Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed. Master Smill is in charge of Sahanish's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. Can I have a sword? Downswoman. Waiting for one of these guys to just cold cock Nightingale and then I'll finally get to do sweet police justice. I just noticed something that probably makes me realize, I just realized that everyone in this game is white. But that makes sense because it's Europe. But I did that just dawned on me. I was like, everyone here is so devastatingly Caucasian. Hello, guards and poor guy. God be with you, Benish. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir, anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Ah, uh, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to? The murdering hole. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? Uh, in the tavern. He was thirsty, so he... Went for an ale. Ugh. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. Me or him? Yes, we get to move like humans now. Oh, the other ad tavern. Okay. There you are. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? <sighs> move your carcass and don't guard the gate! Uh, I... Not a word! Get moving! You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff! Oh, God forbid, Captain Bernard! Out! Nightingale, you're a cool guy. Come and sit with me, Henry. Let's have a drink. Are we going to play dice? That fool got me all worked up. 
Me as well, the lazy bastard. My words exactly. And just when we need every pair of eyes. You never know when the Cumans might creep up on us. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway... All right, don't worry about dice. Why not? Now, how do you play this game? Oh, God! <laughs> that's so many. Oh, if you're trading a game, it's possible to play the game dice of Farkle. The goal of this two-player game is to be the first to reach a certain number of points. Okay, so it's kind of like darts, I guess. Six dice are thrown, the players alternate turns, Players are points are gained for every one or five thrown, and for three or more of a kind of the same number. Okay, so ones are more valuable than fives. Nice, okay, okay, I think I can figure this out. And then there are runs. Player's turn always begins by throwing all six dice, and the player can select if he wants to roll other ones. And at least one dice must be set aside, okay. Key element of the game is a throw does not produce a single scoring dice, and the player's turn is over, and all points gained at the point are lost. Uh, to end your turn before there's a significant increase in the chance. Okay. The Devil's Hand is a set of dice with the Joker instead of the one, which acts as a wild number. Okay, I think I figured it out. I have... I want to hold a score and roll again, I guess. And that's four fifty. So, yeah, we'll uh, score and pass on that one. So I got 450. What the hell is that thing? Mm. Oh, I see. I see what's going on. That's it. Ugh. Oh, wait, am I still winning? I'm still winning. Finished. One thousand. Bam! Get spanked. I'm a dice lord. What are you gonna do? Not a bad roll. That'll do me. This is a fun kind of game. Alright, so I have... Oh, I just need a five and I win. We'll see. Three sixes, ooh dang. Should I? Shouldn't I? No, I daren't. Uh, I win, right, if I get to the thing. So I got 100, so 
Uh, You're lucky. I did it. I like that game. I will definitely probably play more of that because I heard that also raises your speech. That's, that is a. I'm pretty sure it's Just a really one more game. thing, and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the rat house. Ring three times, then go to the trader's tavern by the market square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Sounds Before good. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. Uh, oh. All right, let's go ring that bell. Medieval nighttime. Is this the Dark Ages? I don't remember when the Dark Ages was. I think it was the Dark Ages was before this. But man, nighttime in the Dark Ages, that'd be double spooky. Hello everyone. It is me, Bailiff Jr. Did I win any money from that? I did not. I just spent money. Alright. Still need a horse. Bell, bell, bell. Found you. Being alive in this time period would just be so gross. Just all of this dirt. I don't want to call myself a germaphobe at all, but uh, it all just seems too squishy. Oh yeah, parkour. Watch out. Give me that agility buff. I'm not even close to finishing this game, and I already want to see. And the cannon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, and rode it out of the town gate! <laughs> no, 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 we can be oh, he's free. all beat up for when I kicked his ass earlier. So, Sir Peter and I Take a bath. To look for the good cannon on his pig. <laughs> they <laughs> too fight <laughs> We tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean, the beast with a tonsia on its head. <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the reverend was sound asleep in the pigsty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God oh, oh, save their oh, bacon. <laughs> So Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to buy us around? <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. Oh, You're well, not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was you, 
I get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Ratte. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, is he here? Uh-oh. Is he hiding under the table, maybe? <laughs> oh, man, no. he's dick. Then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough. You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. Oh, man, I'm going to get my ass beat. I'm so bad at hand-to-hand -hand fisties. Oh, because they, they don't teach you how to do that. Ugh. Oh, no. Cut! Rude. Ugh. Teach that insolent pup a lesson. Take him down. Give that bastard something to remember you by. How do you do this little hand grab? You'll get one. Go on, your grace. Oh, okay, good. We didn't have to really fight. But I was doing okay. I dodged, actually, and punched him. Crucifix! What in the name of Christ is happening here? Hell! Answer me, damn you! This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence. to... Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind, raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans, how many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> you spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow? You will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners have asked me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Ooh, hunting? Well then, your grace. I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Ooh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the oh, young no. Lord Capon of his sport? And... You can take Henry here as your page. Him? Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight. Sir, I have responsibilities of the bailiff. Not I anymore. Can't... Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. Uh. I, I'm sure if I grew up there, it would be... Oh, I saved. Cool. It would be different, but... Oh, wait. I have to torch, torch, torch. But just having to... Be like, well, this person was born higher stats than me. Just having to, like... Uh, kowtow to them I'd lose my mind for as shitty as modern society can sometimes be I'm glad there's at least the illusion that we're all equal so a billionaire can come and say something but then I can, I can throw a turd at his car and I'll probably have to pay a fine but that's just because if he threw a turd at my car he'd have to pay a fine but either way turds are hidden cars where do I live? Do I live in here? That's a chicken coop. Wait, where am I going? Uh, I need to find a way in there. Oh, I don't have to go out and around, do I? I guess that seems like the quickest way. It's starting to become best friends. 
With hands kapow. Chamomile. Where's the nettle? Well, can't f wait until the rains are taken off and I can just run around everywhere doing stuff. Those are cool pants. Oh, what? Oh, I can't just jump in there. Excuse me. Where am I? What am I doing? Damn it! <laughs> I didn't look at it. Ah, is there somewhere to sleep? I guess it's just the end of the day and I have to go to bed. Damn it. Excuse me, gents. How does fast traveling work in this game? Because I want to go here. So. At least I didn't get ambushed. This doesn't seem as quick as if I would have just sprinted there. We're learning! Yeah, everyone gets naked, so I'm wondering if that's what I'm supposed to do. Because in all of this armor, I was at 30% whatever, so... We'll sleep, wake up, eat some dinner. Breakfast, whatever. Actually, I can probably just eat a snack right now. Get those radishes out of here. Alright. So did my comfort go up? Nope. I forgot to see what was the time I was supposed to meet him there. Let's say at dawn. At dawn, okay. And let's get dressed for the day. Says high noise, what? Oh, 
Oh, I can wear both. Oh, wait, no, that's instead of a shirt. That's what that is. I see. I see. All right. I think we're ready to go. Put on a torch. And find a washing up bucket. But first, you know what? I'm just going to put on all of the dirty stuff so that way it can wash itself. Do I have. Oh, I, I do have two helmets. No, I want the dirty helmet, please. Wash myself. Alright. My nourishment is at 83. Now I've eaten a bit too much. Well, damn it. Oh well. Can I go out and around from the front? No, I cannot. So eating out of that pot was like a little over 20. Now I know for the future to not just eat out of random pots when I'm almost all the way full. Can I have your sword? some other people watching. Hey, hope everyone's doing all right. Uh, I can say, so far, if you're looking for a much more grounded medieval-style Skyrim-ish game, I've been in the tutorial for this game for about five hours, and I like it. But it's definitely a slow start. But this game's like the game plus all the DLC is like 200 hours long and it's on sale, the Steam sale for I think I got it for like $31 which if it's 200-ish hours of enjoyment like this I think I'm going to get my money's worth and then some I wish I wouldn't have eaten that much I feel very dumb Doesn't look like Hands is here yet, so I'll just wait for an hour. Stand over here. Boop. Still a little bit of a piggy boy. He is still not here. Where are you at, dude? torch anymore. <coughs> Mr. Hands! Oh, there you are. Hunting. <laughs> Here I am. I'm overjoyed. Have you got a horse? No, sir. Where would someone like me get a horse? <laughs> Good point. Unless it was a cart horse, I suppose. Well, you just have to trot along behind me like a good dog. Whatever you say. Farewell. Time to do cardio. Oh no, am I going to walk faster than this horse? A 
Also, am I dirty? I shouldn't be dirty anywhere. Ooh, I gotta go to the cobbler soon. Get some new boots. That's a very old-timey sentence. But, ah, uh, man, we're just ten followers away from becoming affiliate. I'm very excited. This happened a bit faster than I expected. I mean, by a bit, I mean a lot. And at this... Let's go! Yeah! Oh. Hurry up, blacksmith! I'm literally right next to you. Started in April, I think. Yeah. But, uh... As we promised, now that we're in the top last ten before we go, any stream that has William in it for every follower we get, we'll drink a shot Look of here, ranch. Blacksmith. What? About that business at the alehouse. Yes, sir. Anush was right. I should have behaved differently. More, well, gentlemanly. But that doesn't mean you were in the right. You can't throw a lord out of the tavern in his own town. You understand? Yes. I, I was just... What? Speak up! Don't worry, I won't bite your head off. It's just that when you said those things in the arena, sir, I, I was a um, little upset. Ah, I'd just like to tease Greenhorns a little. And you vexed me too. You were insolent to Captain Bernard and they rewarded you with service. Whenever I do anything reckless, even if it's for my honor, Hanush is on my back about it. We're already I'm becoming friends! Now. I didn't mean to threaten anyone. Well, it's all water under the bridge. Let's not spoil our hunt. Oh. We're gonna do cool bro stuff. You're probably gonna get in trouble for being a crazy guy, and I'm gonna have to save you. And we're gonna high five and uh, die at the ripe old age of 31. I'm not gonna sign up for the tourney in Rate. I'm, I'm a little baby. Unless there's Let a little talk of baby something section. Else. Is this your first time hunting? This kind? Yes. I've been hunting since I could walk. If you're not a complete blockhead, you might learn something useful. And if you don't cock it up entirely today, maybe I'll take you again. It's always helpful to have a minion at hand. As I said, I have hunted before, but it wasn't... Chasing bunnies with a pitchfork isn't hunting. Observe and learn. I'll do the best I can. Sorry. I really wish there was an auto-walk button. This is hurting my finger. <laughs> <laughs> Cardio time! Come on, hands! What's taking you so long? Oh, I'm going to move my hand over here. Uh oh. I'm going to pit maneuver your horse. Listen! Me. I wanted to ask you about Scallet. Well, I don't know if. Well, um, sir, I don't know if that's a suitable topic of conversation for the hunt. We're not hunting yet! I'd like to hear about it at last from someone who was actually there. Humans attacked Skullets and, um, and all who didn't flee. That's what they all say. I want detail. Is it really necessary, sir? Arguing with the nobility again, eh? It seems you're a bit of a rebel. No, not at all, sir. It's just that... Well, it's hard for me to talk about. I see. So I'll have to get you drunk first. I'm not sure even that would work. We'll have to find out, won't we? There's a nice little place just north of here. We'll camp there and you can tell me all about it. If you wish, sir. And don't dilly-dally. Let's try and get there before the day's out. Okay, I guess we're fast traveling. That was like cheating fast traveling. That didn't use nourishment or anything. Nice. Oh no, I failed to win the tourney. Yeah. Uh oh. Will might be late coming home. Uh oh, where are we? Let's find the doctor's appointment is in front of two hours. Worst case scenario, I'll just run to the chiropractor. 
on foot. Bring me wine and bacon from the saddlebag. Coming up, sir. At long last. So, are you enjoying being on the hunt? I am, although we haven't actually hunted anything yet. That doesn't matter. Hunting is a diversion. The main thing is to get out of Ratte for a while. Listening to Hanush's lectures all day long would drive anyone mad. If I may ask, sir, what does a lord like you do all day? When I was little, I was awfully bored, I can tell you. There was always some courtier or teacher dogging my footsteps. Now I spend most of my time trying to learn from Sir Hanush. Governing is no joke. At least most of the time. Only last week I had to listen to complaints from my subjects. But that could be interesting too, couldn't it? <laughs> my lord, this yokel here empties his piss pot in my yard. And sir, that old hag put a spell on my cow. And sir, my old woman is fucking half the village. Like a flock of sheep bleating all the time. Even study is more interesting. How come Hanush looks after you anyway? For a start, he doesn't look after me. I'm not an infant blacksmith's boy. Hanush is just managing my property until I'm an adult. When will that happen? What are you implying? Nothing. I didn't mean it like that. I meant that you seem quite adult to me already, so... Well, it's hard to say. Before he died, my father appointed a council of nobles to decide the matter. Only they can't be bothered travelling halfway across the country just to assess the claim of some stripling. Under normal circumstances, it wouldn't be necessary. The king would decide on my adulthood. Only... The king is gone. Just so. Hmm. That's interesting. What are we going to hunt? Cumans. What? Cumans? But... <laughs> 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 I got you there. <laughs> we'll see what we can get. But I'd like to bag a boar. One, at least. And a few hares, too, eh? But what about you? Before I couldn't get a word out of you, now your tongue's loosened. So, tell me about Scallets. I heard Sigismund had a hundred banners there. I don't know, sir. I didn't have time to count them. Both of my parents were killed in Scalitz, right Oop. in front of my eyes. Henry, your face freaked out. The Cumans slaughtered my friends and neighbours, and it was a miracle I got away. I don't know what else I can add. I'm sorry about that. But tell me, I heard in the tavern... What, the Sigismund flew down on a dragon? That the Cumans have horns and hooves? I'm sorry, my lord, but for me, Scalitz isn't a tale of adventure to share over a tankard of ale. All right. I understand. Well, never mind. Anyway, it's too late to go anywhere today. But tomorrow we set off at first light. Got it? Yes, sir. Wait till dawn. Is there anything in here? Better hunting arrow. So let's take all of it. Now, how does that bow compare to my bow? that I got from him. Damage is 54 versus 37, so I got a much better bow. Hunting arrow. Yay, now I have a sword. Oh shit, I'm almost full of everything. Can I talk to him at all? God be with you, lad. 
What can I do for you? Sir? Not now, blacksmith. Keep it for morning. Take care. Fair enough. All right. Wait, is it cook? Cook item? Boiled cabbage, now does that change the food item? It does not. Well, I gotta drop this stuff, so. I was given the rule of thumb is don't eat anything that is below 50% or your butthole will explode from being diseased. Sleep until dawn for ten hours, I guess. Yeah. Uh. Damn it. I'm over full again. That was 34. Are you not up yet? There we go. What are you waiting for? Your lord requires you for the hunt. Oh, really? Such a renowned hunter needs help. You wouldn't dare mock your betters now, would you? Heaven forbid, your lordship. If that's the way you want it, peasant, we'll meet back here at noon. Whoever has the most hairs wins. Oh, and if you don't have anything to shoot with, there's a crate in the camp with some old hunting equipment. You can help yourself. After all, there's no sport in trouncing some wretch who hasn't a chance in hell. By all means, Sir Hans. Ha! You'll soon be laughing on the other side of your grubby face. And now turn your back for a while. I know a few tried and tested spots in these woods, and I don't want you stealing them. Alright, so I need to become less noisy. That's actually more noisy? Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> my chest. Then I will not wear this green shirt. Uh, anything else I can take off? Yeah, I think I'm all good for now. I didn't even look at that. So what does the bow require? Five and five. Okay. There we go. Use that one instead. So what am I doing? Shoot as many hairs as I can. Of course, the training I need to honor. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh god, I can't get out of the camp. Hairs. I don't even know what those look like. I mean, in real life, but in this game I do. Is that a mushroom?
Bunny rabbits. There's not like a hunter's sense or anything, right? Thought I heard some noises. Oh, it's his dogs. There is a very real possibility I won't catch anything. Ah, oh, it's raining. So I don't know, anyone in the comments? Not comments, sorry, anyone in the, just watching and have any experience hunting with a bow? God damn it. Okay, so they'll be like golden colored. I don't know enough about hunting to get anything more out of them. Okay. I'm sort of starting to figure this archery thing out. It's more about lining it up quick. Where are you, bunnies? that one I have to talk to the huntsman and see if I can get better hunting perks I'm curious how many hands is gonna get is this oh hello That was a terrible shot. See you, rabbit. Shit. Ho 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 say about something the hair isn't very big on okay so I'll have to cook it all right where's a boar how many perk points does it take to level up hunting Hunting, you get a perk every... Nope, that's not what I want. Skills. Hunting. Q. You get... You perks unlocked 3, 5, 8. Okay. There. What time is it? It's not even 9. I've already gotten 2 rabbits. Where you at, boar? 
I'm getting good at this animal murder thing. I thirst for big flesh. Some mushrooms in my pants. That was a terrible shot. Nope. Oh, come on. I'm gonna get you. Oh, yeah. Oh no, I'm over encumbered. How much how much does a rabbit weigh? Two. Uh I'm drop one of these bludgeons. This one is almost busted, so get out of here. show me where the camp is again because I have no idea where I am. Shit. I am lost. Uh, that was my nourishment. Really good. Can't really do anything about it. Uh, I have two helmets. Those are worth quite a bit of money though. Maps, a spade. Pick too many mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. Deal with it for now, and if I got it, I'll just throw something on the ground. Like a been playing this for two hours and doesn't feel like it at all. But I, I can't jump while I'm too fat. So I want to get back to camp and pick up these rabbits. just my footsteps. Sounded like little piggy grunts. Now my guess is either I he's gonna get a bajillion rabbits and then I'm gonna lose. Or it's gonna be noon and they're like, hey, where's Hands? He didn't come back. Uh-oh, something stupid happened while he was out and he started fighting emus or something. And then I'll have to save him. Oh, did, I, did I find my way back to camp? I did. Wait. Yeah, I did. Okay. I was like... Let's cook some rabbits. Oh, I can cook the mushrooms. <laughs> I had 15 hair meat. Okay. Come on. 
Damn it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Town, I guess, and cook it. Not town, but right here. Ow, my legs. Oh no, I'm trapped. I'm less trapped. can drop wine into the pot weird all right so I have 2.5 pounds of stuff oh, unfortunately I'm overly nourished Anything I don't really want. Not really. Huh. Oh, these maps weigh shit. Damn it. Oh well, we'll just keep going. What time is it? I've killed like five hares. Yeah, but at least I get better with a bow, I guess, doing this. That went, like, through his legs! My vit went up. Now I can carry more stuff. That's cool. Alright, so I, I'm sitting at like three, five rabbits. It's probably enough rabbits. I'm just gonna go back and wait at camp. Never mind. Boom. Now is that, how many levels of hunting is that? Only two, dang. I killed that rabbit almost right on top of his other rabbit. Almost from downtown. I'm gonna get you, rabbit. You gotta stop changing direction, though. Nope, too far. Oh, am I out of arrows? I am out of arrows.
Well, okay. That's enough of this. Back to camp. Wait, what is was, Oh, that's my icon. And we'll just sit and save for a couple hours. Feel pretty good about this. My knees. I poached. Well, now there's. I have no poached items. I have so much hair meat. for one hour. How am I doing? 93 nourishment. That gives two nourishment. I'll just eat these up. How much does cooked hair do? 14. No. Oh, it's dried. That's cool. I'll hold on to that. Wait. Why do I have uncooked hair meat in my inventory? There we go. Alright. We'll just wait for an hour. Nope. Hands, where you at? Uh, she was my hair as I came before noon. I feel like I did that. Do I have to not be in the camp? Oh, I'm overloaded still. <laughs> What is my stats at there? Uh, get out of here. Oh, I can pick a vitality stat. Five, I need two more agility. What are these? Uh, you run slower. That's always good. Human dustbin. <laughs> what? Oh, I can't learn that one yet. I have two perks. Minimum level six. Four, six, six, six. Oh yeah, these levels, the ones where you get to pick what your whatever thing is. All right, that's cool. Uh, walk around a bit. It's definitely noon. There we go. I do like that a lot of the perks have, like, drawbacks. And like I thought, where is Hands?
I'll wait for one hour and see if anything happens. I waited. Show me what you've got then. How many bunnies have you taken down? How did the hunt go for you, sir? I did quite well. Look, show me. Not bad, though. Quite good, actually. Yeah, yeah. Common blacksmith's boy. Um, shouldn't there be some reward for the victor? Jesus, the insolence. A serf asking his lord for coin. How did I win? But never let it be said I'm a pinch purse. Very well, then. Your serf humbly thanks you, my lord. And now come along. Fuck! Let's go and hunt some real game. A hundred groschen? A dog? How much money do I have now? Ah, oh, I'm like not poor anymore. Henry, mount up and let's go hunting. Mount up, I don't have a horse. But I can do parkour over this. I can't because I'm fat. Uh, nourishment, I have 11. Is Do I have any food items? Those are 14, that's too much. Excuse me, drink some water. So using the bow increases your vitality. That's cool. I might be able to enter that tournament and do like the archery. Encumbered by four point three. A little overnourished, that's fine. Wine gives fourteen or wait, what? Spirits gives you energy, okay. <coughs> his bow. I don't know what to drop. Walking through the woods. Ugh. Man, when I lived in New York, we just had deep, deep wood of like much more tightly clustered trees than this and it was just full of coyotes. Then I moved here to Oklahoma where everyone called them coyotes. And that drove me crazy. See here, a wallow. And it's been freshly rooted. There'll be ball somewhere nearby. So, just like last time, slow and quiet, whatever you do, Understand? Well, watch out for them from the top of that mound there. Oh, I could knock him out. Certainly, why why wouldn't I? You won't kill him like that. 
boar is hunted with spears. Is that so? So now all of a sudden you're a master huntsman, are you? Watch and learn. Did you see that? <laughs> Damn, I'm good! <laughs> Quiet! So, next time you try to tell me I can't kill a boar with an arrow, you can... <laughs> Fuck! After him! Fetch! Mount up, Henry! We're gonna chase down that swine! Yeah. Shit. Oh, do I actually have to chase him? Because I don't have, I have to... I'm too fat to run. Okay. Okay, I guess I will just drop some meat. Still too heavy. Alright. I need to lose one point one seven. There we go. Hands. Run down the boar. Where's the boar? And run it down, does that mean like run up and stab it? for about another half hour and then I'll we'll call it for right now because I need to start figuring out what I'm going to do about this doctor's appointment. Ugh. Oh, I'm not even in the zone yet. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not sure I'm going to run down the boar. I don't have a spear. I'm not particularly fast. I'm in the area. Hands! Just you wait, you donkey's ass. I'll have you yet. Better vanish quickly. Follow me. Later, idiot. Ha <laughs> ha. Why are you so covered in blood?
far away do we need to creep? Leave me here, are you? Uh, what? I'll have a bronze bust made of you, my friend. But where have you been till now? Oh, you know, I was picking berries, had a drink of wine, took a little nap. <laughs> you lunatic! They almost had me roasting on a spit! <laughs> I'd say it looked more like they were about to take your maidenhood. Now look here, dung grubber. Is that any way to speak to a nobleman? A nobleman with crushed balls, friend. <laughs> now you're playing with fire, boy. I could have you in the pillory for that. And then with my own two hands, I'd... Crush your balls! <laughs> that wound doesn't look good, Sir Hans. You're right. Those cumin swine roughed me up a bit. And my damned horse is bolted. You'll have to get me home somehow. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Who knows how many bandits are creeping around here. Let's go then. I've had quite enough excitement already. If we just get a fast travel back, that would be cool. Stand up real quick. Oh, low back powers activate. Standoffs. Cameron stretch. We are buddy. How is it possible, Ratsy? Those bastards make so bold no more than a mile from the castle. We'll have to send out more patrols. That won't do us any good, Hanush. Even if we had ten times the men, we couldn't beat through every thicket in the fiefdom. You sent for me, sir? Come in. I don't know how to thank you, Henry. If it wasn't for you, Hans would be dead. To think I sent you out with him as a punishment. I was only doing my duty, sir. Don't be so modest, young Henry. You showed not only courage, but loyalty to your liege. That's why I'm taking you into my personal service. <laughs> Sir, I... Thank you, sir. I'm a dirty boy. Now let's celebrate your promotion and Sir Hans's recovery. Well, don't just stand there, lad. Pour us a drink. <laughs> just throws it on the ground. I'm sorry to interrupt, sir, but I've urgent tidings. What now? A stable boy came from Neuhof. He says brigands raided the stud farm this morning. There's many dead or maimed. Good. Tell us exactly what happened. I'm not sure. The boy was so shook up he could barely speak. He said the bandits murdered for the joy of it. I'm sorry, sir. Your vassal Smill is dead. Who did this? Who were they? We don't know, sir. The stable boy just kept babbling about some huge fellow in black armor who led the attack. Take as many men as you need, and don't stop until you've found those bastards. And bring me their heads! Yes, sir. My men at your disposal too, Anush. 
Thank you, friend. Sir, let me ride with them. He's full of piss and vinegar, isn't he? Their leader. He must be the one who attacked me at Scalitz. There can't be two men in the whole kingdom who look like that. You think he might still have my sword? No doubt you could use another swordsman, Captain. Uh, as you command, my lord. I know how to fight. leave, Werner. Soon as the men are ready, sir. Good. Wait in the courtyard for Henry. And uh, give him a horse. His own mount? His reward for saving Sir Hans. He'll need it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, go! I want these culprits in the hands of the Executioner as soon as possible. Time for we'll you down, some modern warfare justice. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, so... Time to kid up. Probably have enough time to finish this mission. Oh, I'm very excited. I haven't really done any fighting that much. Nope. Oh. Let's kit up. Alright. I think I have everything on that I need. Oh, hello. That's actually worse. I'm not going to wear that. Damn it, I'm too heavy again. But point nine. Oh, I'm not wearing this thing yet. There we go. And, uh, oh, that wasn't enough. <coughs> Uh, what else can I drop? Need point four dropped. That's only worth point two. Uh, what weapons do I have to drop? So I can drop this axe. It's only yeah, it's only worth ten. That thing sucks. All right. There we go. There we go. Much about what happened, just what that Neuhoff stable boy told us. Get your arses mounted up and let's ride out. On the double. Maybe we'll catch up with that rabble. Can we go? Are you ready? I'm ready, Captain. Oh. Good. Then follow me. Keep quiet and do exactly as you're told. I, gotta I don't know what Saratic sees in you, and I don't care. If you're to ride with my men, I expect you to listen. Yes, sir. Against all better judgment, they've decided to give you your own horse. The dappled gray beside my stallion is yours. Make sure you take good care of it. Now, mount up and ride behind us. All right. I knew I was reading something. More armor. I've got my first horse, which means... Oh well, that axe is gone, I don't care. Getting a better saddle and a stronger horse. Alright, men, saddle up! No dawdling. Last one there won't find me a happy man. My horse's name is Pebbles. Oh, shit. Nope, 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 shit. Yeah, yeah I forgot right in the horse. I have to use my pinky on shift.
No, 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 no. No. Yeah. Horse. Yeah. Nice, nice horse accident. Let's go get some revengeance. Where's your master? In in the paddock. Ooh, a dagger. Crucifix. What kind of beast could do this? By the blood of the martyrs. What happened here? Why? Someone came at night and hamstrung every one of them. The horses screaming must have woke poor Radek, the stable boy. And when he tried to stop them. And then my husband, when my husband tried to help them, they killed him too. And when they were done, they put a torch to the stables. My sincere condolences, ma'am. I swear we'll hunt those monsters down and make them pay for this. The horses were still alive when I came. We had to finish them off. All of them. The pain in their eyes. They couldn't understand how anyone could do this to them. Did they steal anything? Any horses? Nothing. They wanted blood, not coin. Did your husband quarrel lately? Was there anyone who might want revenge? He argued over the price of a saddle, maybe, but nothing... Nothing that could drive a man to... this. These are dark days when there's more kindness in horses than in men. 
Did you see anything? How many were there? Or what did they look like? We saw no one. Has anyone tried to follow the trail? No. We were fighting the blaze until now, and even if we weren't, what chance would any of us have against someone who could do this? I never noticed his spurs. Pox on it. Mount up in court of the area. We have to find out where they went. Look for tracks and ask the folk if they saw anyone. Fuck, someone must have at least caught sight of them. Yes, yes sir. sir. What about me, Captain? What the hell use are you? You stay here. Please, let me do something. I could have a look around the area and see if they left any tracks. Well, if you must. Just don't get in anyone's way, don't go too far, and come back here when you're done. I want that dagger sticking out of that wall. Give it to me. Damn, that's not a real dagger. Smell. The stud farm owner. I saw him in Scarlet's a few times. His poor widow. Ask. I... I can come back later if you... No. I saw you came with the soldiers, and the sooner you know everything, the sooner you'll catch those savages. I'm sorry to trouble you, ma'am, but could you tell me about the raid? The noise woke us up. Me and Smill. Schmill. We thought the horses were restless, or maybe some drunk had staggered here from the inn. Go on. My husband went out to see what was going on. Then I just heard loud voices and screaming. It's so stupid. It didn't even occur to me at first that something could have happened to Smil. I didn't find out until the morning. Did you recognize any of the voices you heard? No, but they spoke Czech, cursing like demons, even at each other. At each other? They quarreled? Yes. Something must have happened. And where did you hear this noise? Everywhere. It was chaos. I don't even know how many of them there were. I mean at the very start. Do you remember where you heard the noise come from then? I don't know. I just don't know. Did you get a look at them? There's one man, huge, and dressed all in black. Did you see him? No, I didn't. Who should I question about the raid? Did anyone here see anything? From what I've heard, Mark was the first one to wake. It might be a good idea to talk to him. Ginger was sleeping in the stable. He might have seen something. Jakob, the old stable boy. He even fought with them. I don't know of anyone else. Good luck then. Fucking bastards. Another useless soldier coming to ask questions. You should have fucking been here last night. What's wrong with your arm? Oh, oh dear. That looks painful. That's all you gotta say about it, you useless prick. And how did you come by that wound? I heard someone talking, so I went to look outside. Okay, and so I don't have the horses. I shouted at those bastards. Caught one by the cloak and started beating him. Without a weapon? With just your fists? Yeah. But he cut me pretty good, the fucker. Lucky for me the other started to come out then, so the raiders ran. All that's left is his cloak. What in the world happened here? The bastards attacked us. At night, a little before dawn. And you've got no idea why they did it? 
Something must have gone wrong for them. They went off without taking anything. There's one man in particular. Huge. Dressed all in black. Voice loud enough to crack stone. Did you see him? Who the fuck do you think half killed me? So he really was here. The bastard. Can you help me? Help you? And how have you helped me? How could anyone be so cruel? This one got it in the back. And there's more of them over by the main stables. Why kill for nothing? Where is Ginger and Mark? these people be They're in the house Are the other two dudes? These are both just villagers. Villager, villager. They can check down over there. Here. If it was the horses they were after, there'll be even more of them by the main stables. There's Mark. Are you... are you well? Leave me alone! Go away! But there's no need to be afraid. With your help, I'll find those bastards and then I'll make them pay. They... they deserve it. Yes! What, what do you need to know? What actually happened here? They killed the animals and... <laughs> Why did they kill them? Think carefully now. How did it all start? We... We heard the animals. Their shrieks. Then smell. He shouted. And they murdered him. Did they take anything? No. You're certain it was the animals first, and then smell, not the other way round? I'm certain. I'd never heard a sound like that before. <laughs> now I'll never forget it. What happened after that? We ran outside, and it was chaos. Animals were dying, the stables were burning, and those demons everywhere. You said they were demons? No, just... Vermin. Worthless human vermin. The stables were already burning. Didn't that happen after they fled? No. It was to set the blaze when they arrived. 
How many of them were there? Not many. There were just a few that came after us, but more round the back. I heard them yelling at each other. In the back? Where? Towards the woods. To the north. They were trying to get away. So they were yelling because of all the noise? No. Something happened. They quarrelled. So some of them were running away and the others were fighting? Aye. For a time. Then more of us came out and we fought back, so the others fled as well. Where? Where did they run to? To the north. Into the woods. Thanks. That's all I needed to ask. God be with you. Why? 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 <laughs> Why Such you? senseless brutality. What did you ever do to anyone? They slaughtered horses as well as people, and yet it seems they didn't take anything. What? Who's there? Easy. I just came to ask. I don't know anything. Are you hurt? No, no, nothing. Not a scratch. What really happened here? I don't know. Someone attacked. I, I don't know who. You didn't happen to hear where they came from? No. I didn't see a thing. Anyone be so cruel? Not sure what I'm looking for in here. Such senseless brutality. They slaughtered horses as well as people, and yet it seems. How could anyone be so cruel? How could anyone be so cruel? How could anyone be so cruel? <laughs> Such senseless brutality. There's nothing I can talk to you about them. They slaughtered horses as well as people, and yet it seems they didn't take anything. Deeper and deeper, for sure. There's still more I need to find back there. Aha, there we go. This wasn't done by animals. They must have gone into the woods this way. Wait, someone has an activity? What's going on? I don't know if Henry can swim. Is it, 
It's Bernard, okay. Let's see if we can hit another save point, then we'll stop for now, because I think I have to go hook the battery up in my truck if I have to get myself to the doctors. And get my back realigned. I guess there was an accident on the on the the main highway near our house, so Will might not be able to make it home from his real adult job while I sit here and play this game for uh, for two people. All right, so they went deeper in.
completely lost track of where that guy was. Found you. I'm fucking dying here. Nobody can match me with iron in their hands, and uh, some damn peasant kills me. Dagger covered in horse shit. Uh. Why, it's a hoofpick. Someone in Neuhof must know more about it. Well, that worked out. My boots broke. Padded leg stuff. That's cool. Those aren't very good. My gambit broke again. Why, why are those arrows... Damn it, ate too much. <coughs> now, how does bleeding work? Featherweight's not too bad. Oh, I like that one. And taunt sounds cool. Hmm. I can pick a hunting skill. We'll see which one of those is relevant. I have, oh man, I have perks I need to pick. Oh, I'm at level one. I don't have any perks for it. Okay. But I have a sword one I can use. Cool. Oh, I'm until I get debuffs. Oh, I need to stop but with a bandage or I will die. Oh my god, I'm still bleeding. I think I'm gonna die. Oh, it's because I'm bleeding. I can't do anything about it. Damn. Hmm. wonder what I'm supposed to do about this.
I may be fucked. Let's go talk to Bernard. So I'm not sure how to use his bandages. There were bandits here. Two of them. Right there to the north in the woods. What? You saw them? They attacked me and I... They're dead. You killed them? One of them. The other was already dying. He had this on him. It must be from the stud farm. Alright. Ask the folk here about it. I'll take the men and scout the woods. Yeah, well. Men! We know where they are. Follow me! Did you recognize any of the voices you've heard? No, but they spoke Czech. At each other? Yeah. You don't know who this hoof pick might belong to. It's for cleaning hoofs, and so I thought that... I know whose it is. Why do you ask? Where did you find it? In the woods. The bandits who were still alive were talking about it. My God. How could he? I don't understand. I don't even want to believe it. What do you mean? Ginger. He acted strange after the attack. Everyone was shaken up, but he couldn't even look me in the eye. And now he's vanished. Never said a word to anyone, just left. Ginger, you say? Could he be mixed up in it? His behavior was suspicious. So you noticed it too? Mother of God. I don't even want to think he of it. He did seem rather weird. So many dead. I'll try to find him and learn the truth about this whole thing. After you do, please come and tell me what really happened. Even if it's just to say where his body is. Do you know where Ginger could have gone? Not an inkling. Jakob hired him. Try asking him. Goodbye. Do you know anything about this hoof pick? Yeah. It's Ginger's. He had it made in Mate. Any idea where I might find this Ginger? Well, that's the thing. He packed up and left. What? Look, I, I know how he looks. But Ginger is a fine fellow. I, I don't believe he had anything to do with the attack. Where could he have fled to? Uh, uh, I might know, but you gotta promise me one thing. When you find him, listen to what he has to say before judging. You have my word. Sometimes the charcoal burners come to see him. He gets on well with them. I think that's where he's gone. And where is that? No idea. They've always kept to themselves, you know, charcoal burners. But the forest is full of folk like that. They could be anywhere. Aye, except these ones won't be far. If you follow the stream from the stud farm towards Rate, you'll come across one of their camps. Only... Only what? Ginger didn't go that way, though. He always went by the big road, through the woods in the direction of Ujits. But how can I find them? There's always smoke when they work. <laughs> you'll smell them before you see them. But, and they need to be near water. There's that too. So if I go through the woods along running water, I'll find them. Exactly. Save the game. Yes. All right. Well, we're going to stop here for now. Hopefully I don't just bleed to death. Uh, and uh, we'll pick up tomorrow. Well, tomorrow is Saturday, so... Yeah, we might play some tomorrow. I'm not sure. Ginger and a pickle. This was the mission that after I finish this, I can go do whatever I want. So, we're gonna. Oh, I can save and quit whenever I want. Oh my god, I forgot about that. 
All right, so uh, thanks for everyone who stopped by, and uh, we'll see you guys later. And oh, today's not today's Thursday. What am I talking about? I'm a crazy person. We'll definitely be tomorrow. Lost track of time. So anyway, tonight we have our uh, podcast with Robert, and uh, it should be fun. Stop on by if you have the time. See you around.